was wondering what's your opinion on No Child Left Behind? Are you for or against it? It's a good question. No Child Left Behind, of course, is the president's grand plan to do massive testing uh, and um, there are arguments over whether the testing, what our teachers are teaching to the test, and I think there's some problems with that. But that's my, not my most severe problem. My most severe problem, No Child Left Behind, goes back to the exact same issue I said before. We don't have equal access to education in America. Here's how No Child Left Behind works. What you do is you take all the schools in America and you test them. Okay? And the schools that do well get more money. And the schools that do badly get less money. Now on the surface you think, well that makes sense. The schools that do well should be rewarded. Schools that do badly should not be rewarded. And that's if you think about it for about 10 seconds. But if you think about it a little bit longer, who are the schools who are doing well? We all know, in every city, wherever you're from, you know in your city there are some great public schools in the rich neighborhoods and there's some lousy public schools in the poor neighborhoods. You know that's true. And you also know that a lot of schools have kids, English isn't their first language, right? So the question is, if a kid's struggling in school, and if the kid's poor, you know, maybe they're both their parents work instead of parents that can stay at home and teach their kids how to read before they go to school. If a kid is struggling in these poor schools, George Bush's idea is to take money from the struggling schools away from them, make them worse off, and give it to the rich suburban kids who don't need it. Take from the poor, give to the rich. Reverse Robin Hood. In fact, you'll see it's not just true in education. It's true in everything this administration does. It's energy policy, it's, I mean, everything. They're grabbing from the poor and giving to the rich. And so what happens? If a, ch if a student, uh, if a school has trouble teaching kids, English is their second language, they get less money. Okay? If you've got a, a, a school where the kids need more remedial help, they get less money, they get less help. And who gets all the help? Well, the students and the schools that do not need it. And that is a real problem. And it's amazing to me because No Child Left Behind is doing its best to leave as many children behind as possible. And I have a problem with that. You said about ch No Child Left Behind, you want more kids to be educated, but you're taking away funding to help support the education of children learning and also about the books and the supplies. It all comes down to money and in order to have that money you need education but you're taking that away with no child left behind. What do you guys think about that? Yeah, no, I agree with you. Um, you know, Chris says it's not about money. You know, I lived in Europe for a year and in Europe teachers actually are a respected profession. Now Chris blames the teachers. It's all the teachers' fault. Let me tell you something. I didn't say that. I said the union. Big difference. The teachers who support their rights to, to having decent pay, all right, they say, teachers, you should get lower wages. You shouldn't get the wages. Let me tell you something. When I lived in Europe, okay, teachers were some of the highest respected professions. I probably should have been a teacher, but in our society, for some silly reason, they pay lawyers three, four, five times what teachers make. And I'll be the first to tell you, teachers are more important. And one of the reasons why we have some of the worst teachers in the inner city schools is because they're not paid enough. The, the school I saw, and I worked in the inner city school where, yes, the teacher misspelled words on the board, the teachers paid 19000 a year. Now, that's barely above poverty level, okay? So money is a problem. If we, look, look, all you have to do is look at our nation and compare it to Japan, compare it to France, England, the Netherlands. Uh, I looked at one study and it showed that we were somewhere above Madagascar. They were just right, right above Madagascar in terms of how we fund our educational system. Now, Chris is right. Most of it does come from local governments. And that's why you'll see in Los Angeles the best schools in Beverly Hills and the worst schools in Watts. Because the Republicans believe, I guess, that if you're rich, you deserve a decent education. And if you're poor, property taxes aren't enough, sorry, you don't deserve an, an equal education. But as I said at the beginning, we believe in equal opportunity for all. If you believe in capitalism, and I believe in capitalism, I believe people should be able to rise as far as their talents let them. It all starts with an education. If you don't teach kids of equal education, then how can they use their own skills to rise higher? So I, I'm not saying, you know, um, take people when they're, when they're doing well uh, and, and take money from them. What I'm saying is provide the basics, just the basics. Basic health care, basic shelter, basic food, and yes, a basic education. All the European nations can do it. Japan can do it. We're supposed to be we're supposed to be the most powerful country on earth. Why can't we provide a decent education to all American children? I don't know why. <laughs>